I'm Jamie McDonald. Join me as we celebrate small businesses that make New York so unique. These New York Originals. You know, we've really gotten used to movie theaters being owned by corporate conglomerates. But there was a time when many theaters were mom and pops, owned by someone in the neighborhood. Kew Gardens and Cobble Hill Cinemas are two such places. They're just a handful of theaters that are still independently owned in New York. And as you're about to see, something is lost when your theater goes corporate. Theaters from yesteryear. And that's just what owner Harvey Elgard hopes she'll take from his two classic theaters in Brooklyn and Queens. We get our local people who come and people from out of the area who just get the feel, say, you know, this is what I remember when I was a kid going to the movies. This was a neighborhood movie theater. And they won't even go to the multiplex up the street because they say, once they come here, why would I go there? Walk into Kew Garden Cinema and you'll see the difference between a chain theater and what is clearly a labor of love. There's the restored Art Deco decor, the movie memorabilia, not to mention the homemade cookies at the concession stand. Well, Kew Gardens was originally the Austin Theater, and it was built in the 30s, and it used to run first run in art films back in the 50s and 60s. Then, and this became independently owned by a person who ran it into the ground, basically running it as porno, and that's when I took it over in 1998. Restoring the place revealed a number of treasures, including the original interior, which was designed by Harold Rambush, who also decorated Radio City Music Hall. And all of this cove ceiling and original murals that are in the lobby were buried under the hung ceiling. And all of the brick walls and all of the woodworking, which are original detail, were buried behind sheetrock. In fact, this, uh, the ceiling, I thought, was dark green. And it was this color really because of, in the day, everyone was smoking. And it stained the ceiling 10 shades deeper from cigarette smoke. And downstairs, I have the original Art Deco uh, engraved cut glass doors, which were the entrance doors into the auditorium, which I wanted to reuse. But because they're not meeting standards of safety glass, I cannot use them in the theater. <laughs> Harvey may not be able to put up the old doors, but there are plenty of other special touches, like his mini museum of original movie collectibles. And it just gives people a feeling of nostalgia, of, of the heyday of, of Hollywood. We feel that it's more intimate and people can look at our posters and say, gee, I remember that movie, and that's what they like about it. I feel like this is my, this is my theater, so I'm gonna put my stuff in it because it's my home. But it's not just the memorabilia or the old-time feel that keeps them coming back. Harvey is quite capable of holding his own with corporate theaters, selling tickets lower than Manhattan while providing the same amenities. And by being independent, Harvey's able to be choosy on what plays here. The difference is the programming in this theater is strictly art, independent film, foreign films, uh, little obscure titles that you wouldn't find anywhere else. I mean, I go to screenings sometimes three times a week, four times a week, where in multiplexes, they'll play anything and everything and not care about what's playing in the theater. They'll just run it and like a meat grinder and just run film through the theater. We're very selective in what we play and sometimes we make that decision. Sometimes not always best for the profit because I could play a film that really is, runs truly commercial and do very well with it and choose not to, because that's just, I won't sell out to play that type of film. Cobble Hill Cinema is one of the oldest theaters in New York City. The building itself was built in the early 20th century. It was converted into a theater for silent films and possibly vaudeville shows in the 1920s. Cobble Hill was originally, uh, I took it over in 1982. Then two years later, we twinned it, made it into two auditoriums. Back in 1988, we made it to a, the third auditorium. And in 1995, we added two more screens and built like a hat on top of the building and added two more screens. So now it's five screens. So it's been a, it was a work in progress. And as the Cobble Hill and Kew Gardens neighborhoods continue to grow in popularity, business for Harvey's theaters is better than ever. In 2008, he even added another theater to Kew Gardens, something unheard of for an independent theater. 
Still, it makes sense. For Harvey has a lot of films to share. Every day is a new day because with every new film, it feels like it's something new in your life, a new business to get excited about. Now, seeing a movie at Harvey's Theaters is just as convenient as any other. All of his movies are listed in the newspaper, by phone, and on the internet. He also rents out his theaters for private screenings and events. Thank you.